All my work is autobiographical. In some way, it's connected with my, with my own life, you see. I am Robert Indiana, and this is my love sculpture. And I'm Adrian Dannett, and I'm a writer who's written a great deal about Robert Indiana, uh, obviously about the love sculpture, or the love project, as one should really call it, because it's so much more than a sculpture. The sculpture that we're looking at here in Philadelphia is part of a worldwide project in a whole variety of media, from the poem that he wrote as a young man, through paintings. And there's thousands of them. Through T-shirts, through prints, and through sculptures in every different language. All over the world. I used to work for the Indianapolis Star, a newspaper, and I was very close to the composing room. I set my poems in lead type myself so that my work is very typographic. And of course, the great innovation, it was the tilting of the letter O onto this diagonal. It gives four letters a little bit of uh, dynamism. It was this diagonal that turns the word into really what is a, a perfect square. Only, uh, only a hundred times more dynamic. There's nothing as dumb as a, as a uh, O at attention, I mean, you know. <laughs> there were many things from his childhood, as with many artists, things from their childhood that their artists are hardly even aware of, which then later emerge. The loves all come from my, uh, from the fact that my father worked for Philip 66. The gas company. My mother would uh, drive my father to work and pick him up. We would pass the Philip 66 station with a huge circular sign in the sky. The gas pumps are red and green, the uniforms are red and green, the oil cans are red and green. And so it's the red and green Philip 66 sign against the blue sky is why the first love was red, blue, and green. He realized the potency and the power of colors, especially colors put together, clashing and combining. So it has this great drama to it. The snap, the crack, and the pop of a classic pop icon. The poem that he wrote in 1955, which is really the inspiration for this work that comes more than a decade later, which is quite straightforwardly entitled, When the Word is Love. Give it feeling, give it feeling. And it goes like this. Do it slowly. Dent the head with the word. See the lettered scar on the skull. On the bone in the beginning, the straight line, where from the rounding circle is begat. But on our tongues... It's almost a description of the, ele the geometrical elements that make up the physical composition of this word love. It's very curious because it's almost as though he is unconscious of the fact that this idea was germinating, that it was he expressed it as a young man in a poem of all things. I consider love a uh, one-sentence poem. And his dream is to have these love sculptures in every city in the world. He wants this message to be absolutely universal. It would be my intention that uh, everybody should have love. And there are a lot of people in the world, you know. <laughs>